doing? Uh, this is about a Hoshizaki uh, Binstat, replacing the Binstat. Um, this is the Binstat uh, control number A30 3953 000. Um, got this from one of my local refrigeration suppliers. Um, they call it the TB0041 kit. Um, Usually I just get the stat by itself, um, but anyhow, uh, it comes with uh, this part right here for holding the uh, sensing bulb, and this is kind of like it's kind of ridiculous how they made this thing because there's no. I've used a different one before, and this one. You got to put it in. You you'd put it in this way, and it would sit in like that. But there's no that hole's not big enough. Right down there, that one, the tip of my finger, is not big enough for the probe to go through, and it's not split or relieved or any way, so that you could get the probe through it, which is par for the course these days. Um, so as you'll see, I'll try to do this. Let me try to do this with one hand here. Um, but there's me put, trying to put the probe through because you would, uh, because you would curve the tip of the probe would rest in here and you would curve this upward to go up to the machine and you would put this right here so it protects the wire from getting banged by ice so this doesn't i tried shoving it pretty good and it won't go in so i got to drill the hole out but just par for the course these days with our stuff uh, stuff not being right but anyways and these two holes in the back here would be how you secure it to the existing assembly um, possibly but usually not um, you usually use the two thumb screws and you just loosen the thumb screws slide it in on that one and the thumb screw goes through that one and then you go back you uh, go in and that way with it and you'd lock the thumb screws down in that position and you'd insert it you know like that so that's how it would go in but I just thought you guys would like to know uh, you're gonna have to drill if you get one of these things you're gonna have to drill it out uh, to relieve it enough to get that probe through it Alright, thanks for watching. Click like on the video. Subscribe. Hoshizaki Binstat uh, Trials. This is uh, how to replace a uh, Binstat on a Hoshizaki uh, 1300, KM 1300. Uh, big boy. Uh, pretty good size. This one. This 
so uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, how I do it. Uh, got a little kit from the supply house and it came with this and the plastic tube and the Vinstat and this is how you secure them. Have to drill out this hole to 1760 forts. Uh, it wasn't big enough and uh, secured it like this. This is how you secure it. Put the one wire tie and you run the instat through the tube and secure it secure it up like that that's how you keep them out of out of dangerous way running the instat on the inside that's the way they're supposed to be done like that okay um, and then I run them up like that secure them here one wire tie Two wire ties, I always double wire tie one off, one wire tie on, and then with a hole, then run the other wire tie to it so it's suspended. The black coating goes from there to here. Two wire ties on the liquid line, um, goes in, then I do the coil up in here with four wire ties around it so it doesn't touch the wall or rub a hole in the cap tube. And then just took it up like that. Pretty simple. The perfect size for that is I used a uh, my little pipe dope um, thread sealant thing. It's uh, about two inches. Yeah, so two inches across. So that's a two-inch circle on that. So. Uh, that's it, and so how you know it's working is you got we got pump. So let's energize, and uh, well, hopefully we should go. We got power. Can't see with the lights. I don't think. Yeah, with my light on the camera, you can't see it. Anyways, but yeah, so we're going again. We have control. So I want to check the bin stat though, make sure it shuts off.